Hey guys, so today we're making some Detroit style pizza. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on social media. Let's get started with the recipe. So I'm just adding some avocado oil to a hot skillet. And then I am adding in one small to medium sized yellow onion. And I'm just going to saute this until it is nice and translucent. And then I'm going to add in some salt and some pepper. And so right here we are making some homemade pizza sauce. And so I have never made my own pizza sauce. But I thought if I was making some homemade pizza I would give it a try. And it did add a nice um, flavor to my pizza. And so next I am going to add in some fresh chopped garlic and you saw that I added quite a bit of garlic so this is going to be a garlicky sauce but it was really delicious and flavorful and so you're just going to saute that for about 30 seconds or until the garlic becomes fragrant and then I am adding in um, about a teaspoon of tomato paste and then I'm also going to add in some uh, tomatoes and so I couldn't find uh, San Marzano uh, tomatoes I think that's what they're called I couldn't find that um, style of tomatoes in my uh, grocery store so I just bought some whole tomatoes absolutely you can use some crushed tomatoes or even some diced tomatoes if you want I saw somebody else use the whole tomatoes and of course they were the San Marzano type of tomato which is supposed to be the best for making your own sauce and so anyway I'm just gonna add a few teaspoons of sugar again it's not gonna make the sauce sweet it's just going to balance out that flavor um, tomatoes can be pretty acidic and now I'm just seasoning my sauce with some uh, Italian seasoning I'm also gonna add in um, some adobo and onion powder garlic powder some salt all that good stuff and you want to make sure that you taste your sauce for seasoning okay we are using canned tomatoes and so it just has a tomato taste and so you have to season that thing don't be scared to season your food I don't care what seasonings you use just make sure your food is not bland Okay, we don't want no bland food, y'all. So I'm just going to season this and taste it and just let this thing simmer until it gets um, nice and hot and thickens up a little bit. This is going to be a thicker sauce. Look at that. I put some fresh basil in there, y'all. Some fresh basil that I chopped up. Anyway, I was so excited about this sauce. And so I'm just going to put it to the side while we make our dough. And so right here, I have some water. And you want your water to be between 120 and 130 degrees Fahrenheit for your yeast. We're going to activate the yeast. We do not want to kill the yeast. So um, next we're going to add in a few teaspoons of sugar and just give that a stir. And let it do its thing for about 5 minutes or so until it looks like that. Next we're going to add in some bread flour. And so... I'm only adding it in one cup at a time and I'm using my kitchen aid. You're also going to add in some salt because we need to season our dough. And shout out to Lizzie Lou Food. I follow her YouTube channel. Um, she makes some really great homemade food. She makes everything from scratch y'all. And so I was really inspired by a recipe that she did for Detroit style pizza. I didn't make it exactly as she did. but. Um, she was the inspiration for this recipe. So I just added in about two tablespoons of some vegetable oil and then I'm going in with about another cup of that bread flour. You can use all purpose flour but the bread flour um, it makes the dough a lot chewier. Not chewier. <laughs> it makes the dough a lot more chewy and so um, I would suggest using bread flour for this recipe and so I just um, let it do its thing in the kitchen aid until it came together from off the sides of the bowl and so I'm just adding some oil to my bowl because I want um, I don't want my dough to stick to the bowl and so I'm just gonna let that sit in the bowl and put some plastic wrap over it and let it um, sit so that it can rise and so I let that sit for about 30 minutes and I'm placing it on top of a cutting board because you don't want to put it on your cold kitchen counter 
and so while the dough is rising i am just cooking up some italian sausage because i am going to add this to um my pizza this is like my sausage for my pizza and so i'm not going to add a whole lot of seasonings to it just going to keep it simple um, i added in some no salt, no salt seasoning that i got from costco and then i'm just going to cook the pork until it is done and so this is our dough after about 30 minutes and yes i am punching the dough <laughs> and so now you're going to put some oil in a pan um and this is just like a i want to say this is a 11 by 9 but i'll be sure to put the exact size in the recipe and so um i oiled my pan with some vegetable oil and so now i am putting my dough in the pan and i'm just going to press it out with my hands um, I also want to mention you don't need a mixer for this recipe. You can totally knead the dough on your kitchen counter. I was just trying to be extra because I got a kitchen aid, but you can certainly do this by hand. And so after I put that in the pan, I'm adding some plastic wrap on top and I'm going to let it rise again for another 30 minutes. And so this is after another 30 minutes. I'm adding in uh, that homemade pizza sauce. And so you can put as much or as little as you'd like. And so this is where um, I'm just adding in some mozzarella and provolone cheese to it. And so I've, I saw some other recipes in Lizzie Lou. She actually did it different. She put the cheese down first. And I think that might be how you're supposed to do it. And they actually cubed the cheese with like some Wisconsin cheese. And so... Um, I didn't have none of that and I was a little skeptical about cubing the cheese so I just put some shredded cheese on top um, but I think traditionally it is cubed and you put the cheese first and so I'm just adding in some some sausage and some pepperoni and then I'm leaving the other side just cheese because my husband does not eat meat and then I'm going to bake this in a 400 uh, degree oven for about 20 minutes or until it's nice and brown and you're just going to add some extra cheese along the side because um, out here in the Midwest or in Central Illinois, wherever you are, we have uh, Jets Pizza. And so this is similar to Jets Pizza if you've ever had it. It's their eight corner pizza. And so I'm just going to bake this in the oven until it is nice and brown. So this is what my pizza looks like after I took it out of the oven. And so I just cut it into some uh squares or rectangles and this is so oh my goodness this pizza was so delicious you guys again this is kind of like a copycat of jet's pizza or any D detroit style pizza that you've had i've never been to detroit so i need to try the pizza but i hope you guys enjoyed this recipe i'll be sure to list all of the ingredients in the description box below please make sure you like share comment and subscribe i'll see you guys next time bye